what's up guys so i wanted to make a quick update video um for those of you who have the legion go and we're looking to try and reset or restore the unit lenovo wants you to go through using their factory recovery image or using the image that is on um, the system um if well not if the people who have just tried a plain um restore um, have had issues downloading legion space um, I'm very active on the Legion Go Reddit page, and um, so far to no, well, so far up until myself, um, there have been no avail with finding the Lenovo um, Legion Space program. I even a couple of redditors contacted um, Lenovo via support, and they said they don't have it. Um, I made up a BS reason when I contacted them uh, through chat and they told me they don't have it. Um, they said, oh, no, you have to re reset the entire system. Um, I know that there are a lot of people out there who want to use a smaller OS. And while you can do that, you won't have Legion space. And Legion space basically allows you to control the controllers and several other things for the Legion Go. Now, personally, I found a way to get Legion space. Um, if I can, I'll link both my Reddit posts in the description, but basically, um, when you first set up the unit, it downloads an updated copy of Legion space. Most people have said, if you go into the temp folder, there's a file in there and you can use that, but that is just the executable to launch Legion space. It's not the actual installer file. If you go into the C drive, um, Legion space has an uninstaller but no installer file. So after poking around, I realized that when Legion Space downloaded a new update, it left a folder in the downloads folder called Legion Space. When you open that, there's another folder called download and then there's an XML file in there. Now normally I wouldn't mess around with XML files, but I opened it in Edge and happened to find that it has the, the the link for the download. Most people call that a CDN because it's a content download network and it has a link for that. Um, so I copied it and pasted it into the browser, downloaded Legion Space. So I was like, let me test this. Let me make sure I try it on another computer first, see if it works. And it does. I was able to successfully install Legion Space on my Surface Laptop Studio. Now, I was also able to use that link and manipulate the file name or the, not the file name, the version number to get all the versions of Legion Space. Um, and when I say all the versions, I mean the pre-release versions I happen to download as well. So what I'm going to be doing in this video as a proof of concept is I'm going to be uninstalling Lenovo Legion Space and reinstalling it using the downloaded file. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the power button on Legion Space and I'm going to go to exit. And then if I go here and I go to here and I type in AppWiz. This basically loads up the application list that's installed. I click Legion space. Well, if I can uninstall change, yes. And it's gonna bring up the prompt that will ask me if I want to uninstall Legion Space. And it'll tell me some controller functions do not work. Again, because Legion Space without this, a lot of the controller functions are not gonna work. You're not gonna be able to modify things. So if I do this, you'll notice oops, no Legion Space. And if I do this, you'll notice nothing is working because those functions are no longer controlled. Now, if we go to the link in my description, um, I have uploaded a Google Drive folder. Let's see if this actually works. Yes, it does. And I'm gonna use, what's this one here? Let's see, um, file information details. Is this the latest one? No, that's 1.0.0. So we wanna use the latest one, which is this one here. And I'm gonna click this and I'm gonna download it and hopefully, download anyway, hopefully, my network is good enough to download it. Okay, so right now it is downloading and it looks like it's finished. So we're gonna click that and we're gonna go to my downloads folder. So let's go to download. 
nodes. And the file is right here. So it's this one. And we're going to wait for it. And we're going to press install. I don't know why Lenovo made this program itself so hard to access. Well, not even that it's so hard to access. They don't even allow you to access it. They don't have it on their driver's page, their support page. They claim it's only available in the image, the factory image. Um, personally, they slipped up when they um, did this XML file, because if I didn't find that, I would be out of luck. Now let's launch Legion Space. And we're gonna click that. And right now it is loading Lenovo Legion Space. I don't know if it kept any of my settings. Um, probably not. And if it didn't, that's not a huge deal. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it is working here. Uh, will I get this to work? Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. So it took a minute. Oh, actually no, load on that side. So the buttons are actually working. And then if I click here and I actually close out of Legion space, and then I click this, well, that was that button. It launches Legion space. So it's a proof of concept guys. So if you guys are looking to install, um, like I think people have like Tiny 11 or other such OSs, um, then this would be the way to do it. This is more of a proof of concept. Um, the only reason why I really did this is because I kind of find it unfair that Lenovo doesn't have this piece. And I think they did that on purpose because they know that um, if people don't have this, they can't operate the unit the way it's intended to be used. And there are a lot of people out there who like to use operating systems that are smaller or have less weight or um, do things that um, basically have no telemetry. I forgot what that's called. I think that's what it's called. Whatever the case is, um, they want to use a different variant of Windows um, that doesn't have all the bloatware. M mind you, this doesn't have that much bloatware out the box, which was very surprising. But that doesn't have a lot of stuff, and people are picky, and that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. But um, this is how you do it. So I will upload the... Google Drive link in the description, and I will also upload the Reddit posts in the description. Um, thank you guys for watching.